We are here at the end of day three, SEMA 2023. We're in the Hypercraft booth, which is in the future tech section of uh, SEMA in Central Hall, which is a really exciting development. Um, the EV stuff has been moved from place to place, and it isn't just EV. I said this in a different video. It is alternate fuels. It's all sort of stuff. In this particular case, it is EV. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, Logan is going to tell us a little bit about Hypercraft's product. Um, particularly where it applies to the specific type of racing that you guys support. Yeah. Um, I'd love to learn more about it because I know that it can go very fast yeah. over a variety of surfaces. So yeah. take it away and I'll ask you questions as you go. Yeah. Well, so we're standing in front of one vehicle, which is one example of what we can do. Okay. Uh, this is a 1957 uh, Chevrolet Corvette. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So. Wow, I would not have guessed that. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> This is a 500 horsepower Corvette. Uh, it's an Art Morrison chassis, a okay. quality chassis build. Uh, scared shiftless, uh, did the did the build for the customer. Okay. Um, and this features our uh, our 500 horsepower prototype system inside of it. So okay. 80 kilowatt hours of battery, uh, split between the front and the back, full hypercraft system with wiring, display, um, every component you would need. And, and so this is a perfect example of what Hypercraft does, and that is provide complete drive systems. Okay, yeah, I was um, just going to ask you to elaborate. Electric. So uh, a complete to us means that when you connect everything together, it works. Okay. Because it's really easy to go by parts. Right. But if they don't work together, right. then you have a complete system that doesn't actually right. run. Right. And so what we specialize in is taking parts that really anyone can purchase um, and then putting them together in a way that they know they're going to be safe. They're going to be reliable and they're going to give the performance that they expect out of the car. So um, although this isn't specifically a race car, this is still a 500 horsepower Corvette. Yeah, it's still a great um, big. Yes. And it's got, you know, AC and heat and every all the conveniences you want, including that very comfortable seat over there. Um, <laughs> but so this is one example. Other examples that we have is we're working with the King of the Hammers. Right. Uh, Ultra right. 4. Uh, we've got an off-road uh, crawler race buggy okay. um, for, uh, for King of the Hammers. And that's. That's going slow and fast, yeah. uh, which is a you know a mixed speed race. Uh, we built that for Dave Cole, okay. um, and the plan is to have an EV spec series uh, for King of the Hammers. It'll be a Amazing. slightly shorter course, um, but we've already sent and worked with 15 teams to get uh, powertrains to them so that they can build the car based on the Hypercraft powertrain. Um, another example of what we do from the racing perspective is our Sierra Car partner. Uh, Sierra Car is a single seat buggy. Um, it was developed by a race car driver. Uh, to be uh, a fun, accessible, all-purpose race vehicle. On-road, off-road, rally. I mean, you just adjust the shocks and you put on different tires okay. and it will go literally anywhere you want it to. Catching air or, you know, doing donuts, whatever the, the issue is there. That vehicle was originally powered by uh, a 700cc uh, ATV or UTV engine. Okay. Uh, and then the top spec was a turbo Hayabusa. So it had enormous amounts of power, enormous yeah. power. Uh, and he said, you know, I'm just sick of fixing them all the time. The maintenance, right. the maintenance is huge. And so the request was, hey, if you can make this electric and it still has great performance, I'm in. Um, and so, you know, he was thinking this would fit somewhere in his lineup. But when we gave him the completed car, he said, that's it. Like, I'm not doing gas anymore. This exceeds the Hayabusa. The maintenance is minimal. Uh, the range is, is more than enough what people want to use. I can track this. I can race it. I can do it off road. And so that has become kind of our demonstration car for customers to say, look, this is the kind of fun you can have. And right. this is how easy it is. You can see all the components in there. Um, and so that's a really cool thing there. And then the other one that we've got is uh, Scalar Performance. They're out of Canada. Okay. Um, and their goal was to do something very similar, which is make a race car that can go onto the track and not have to be getting fixed fixed in the pits between sessions. What? You no. Know? Yeah. No. So I that mean, was not even racing. I know. I know. That's, that's, that's what they said. They said, you know, we love racing. They're, they're drifters. They're track guys. Uh, and they just said, we're just sick of fixing things. So they developed uh, a car they call the um, SCR1 uh, that is based on a GR86, a brand new GR, GR86 Toyota platform. They tore out the whole center tunnel, put a beautiful battery tray in there that we developed with oh, them. Nice. So it keeps the, the weight super low. Uh, weight distribution is exactly how they want it. And that's uh, about a four or 500 horsepower vehicle. Um, the cool thing about all these electric race vehicles is they're tunable. So right. all you got to do is just turn the power down and you can let a beginning driver drive it and not get in trouble. And you can put a pro in it. Um, Randy Popes has driven the, the scaler car. Okay. And that was a, uh, you know, full unlock for, for that guy. <laughs> right. And 
he was able to experience everything that car has to offer. So that car's uh, able to run legally in a NASA uh, club level. Okay. Um, and so they want to make EV racing accessible at the club level. Right. So you can buy a car right from them that you can take to the track and then drive it home if you if you want to. So it's it's super exciting. And, and the thing that we love about our customers is we build the powertrain, but right. they're the experts in the vehicle. Right. And so together we build exactly what they want because we know how to do the EV and they know how to do what they do best, which is the vehicle that they're trying to create. So that's great. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, you're welcome.